How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today's video I've got one that's been long awaited and I'm really excited for that. So today we're gonna root the Droid Turbo. Yeah, it's turbo time. Let's go do this. Alright guys, here we go. Um, this is it. Mofo Root. Super excited about this. It's gonna be for your Droid Turbo. And we're going to show you some cool exploits here. So let's get to this. This is the official web page for it. So basically, the first thing you want to want to do is just kind of scroll through and read through this. But what you need to do is start downloading things because this is going to verify to make sure that your device can use this root exploit. So the first thing you want to do is click on this right here, this Python 2.7. And go ahead and scroll down here and go to Windows uh, x86 MSI installer and download that file alright get that file downloaded and then come over here and go to USB drivers and you can install either of these USB drivers or for Linux this does work with Linux also you can install this USB driver um, this is going to bring you to the uh, Android developer page and you can right here install USB drivers documentation OEM drivers, different things you can go in here. Google USB drivers are right there. Um, I recommend actually, since this is a Motorola device, installing the Motorola drivers. And so this is my site, and these are the files you're going to want. It's either the 32 bit or the 64 bit, uh, depending on your Windows machine. Most newer machines are 64 bit, so you're probably going to want that one. All right. So we've got that downloaded. And then the last thing you want to want to download is this file right here uh, download Mo mofo verify so click on that one and you can see it's downloading yada 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 all right we've got our files downloaded let's go ahead and open everything up so here's what we're working with this is the motorola drivers go ahead run them install them and so forth very easy next 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 finish all right so i'm going to hit uh no um, I'm sure when X is yes. So I'm not going to do that because I've already done that. Um, then you're going to want to run, well, you can go ahead and extract. These came in zips, so go ahead and extract them. I use 7 zip, it's preferred. You know, hit it, hit extract, and you know, you're left with you know, that file. Then you're going to take the Python uh, MSI file, click on it, hit run. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit change. Um, that's just the way I'm going to do it. I've already installed it, so just so you can see, normally it'll just say install, so hit install. And then you're going to come down here and you want to make, all these are normally checked, but you want to make sure you push this one right here. Add Python exe to path, and um, you want to go ahead and I would, do, I would do this one right here. Will be added to local hard drive. So click on that, hit next, and go through the install and, and you should be good to go. Okay. So we've done that very nicely. Everything's working good. Got everything installed. So we're going to go ahead and come in here to, for me, Windows, and click on Windows. And we're going to click on the mofo verify gui.batch file and go ahead and run it. And basically here it tells you that you're not in fastboot mode. So we need to put our Droid Turbo into fastboot mode. So to do that, let's go over to the device. Here you go, guys. I'm actually going to plug it for right now. I can there we go and we're gonna go ahead and power off the droid turbo there we go ha <laughs> it started doing the recognition stuff that's pretty funny all right there we go and then we're gonna go to hold the script says to hold volume down and power this is actually gonna put us into fast boot or download mode should look like this then go ahead and plug in your cable to your device and to your computer all right, now we should be able to run this one more time. So we're going to go ahead and close out the program again, try running it again. And if this works, um, if you get stuck on this screen right here with nothing, let's try it one more time, then go ahead and come over here to your device and do restart bootloader. Hit uh, power. 
and it's going to just restart your bootloader again. There we go. And let's try running it again. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that's a little trick. It makes sure that fast boots functioning correctly. All right. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and go to this link. So the best way to do this is to come up here and go, actually, you can maybe do it on here. Yeah, you can hit mark. You're, you're right clicking with your mouse, hit mark. Highlight everything. Come up here to the top bar, right click again, go down to edit, copy, and you've just copied that verification link. So from there, we're gonna drop this back down and come up here and paste it in and hit enter. Congratulations, uh, your device is supported, yada, 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 and it wants you to go ahead and pay. It does cost $20 to do this. I agree to the terms and go ahead and, you know, do your whole payout. So that is the process to get uh, set up. You are approved. So let's go ahead and pay for this and we'll continue on. All right, so once you agree to the disclaimer and you pay the $20, you are brought back to this page, and now you click on Download MoFo. So we're gonna do that. And right there it has MoFo Zip. And again, just say Keep. And then I'm gonna open up my folder again here, and go right into here, and we're gonna open up these files. So we'll go to Downloads. Yes, I have a lot of downloads. Cut and paste this in here there we go go ahead and open up my extractor whoops and we'll go to go extract okay there we go and here is a mofo and now we have some new information so we have our linux our license our windows and we have purchases so there is the root here we go to windows and we have uh, another batch file to run. So, all right guys, so now we have the files. We're gonna go ahead and run this really quick right here. And basically what you're getting here is you're getting the MoFo EXE, okay? That's basically what you have. Um, and what it does is it allows you to flash system images. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flash a system image and I actually have one that is pre-rooted. So I'm gonna paste it in right here. And it's a pretty good size system image as you can see. There we go. And this is for system version 21.44.12 Quark, which is the Droid Turbo XT1254. Now, if you're not on that exact system image, this will not function. Or what will happen is you'll flash it and you'll lose your radios or you'll lose something else and then you're gonna have to do a full firmware restore back down to original firmware, work your way back through the OTA updates and so on. Right now, this is the latest OTA update as we speak. Hopefully, this exploit will be able to um, flash other system versions as updates come. It just depends on whether it's going to be patched or not. So that's basically what we're dealing with. So this Moto EXE, uh, Mo MoFo EXE, is basically a fast boot file and it allows us to flash system images. Pretty sweet. Pre rooted system images. So <clears throat> that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flash this. Double check your system version in your device. Go to settings about phone and you'll be able to do it before you do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in here and we'll actually, let me close out a bunch of these that I've got open. And we're going to go ahead and go into this one right here. And we'll click it again. It comes up with this and we're just going to go ahead and type in mofo dot exe flash and then you can see our device is in fast boot mode still so we're going to just take this and drag it right into our window and that's it we're going to flash this thing right now now i would recommend just because we've had this thing on for so long go ahead and scroll down 
go to restart bootloader again, hit power, and just let it get back into bootloader mode one more time really quick. And now I go ahead and flash it. So we're going to hit enter. There's no going back at this point. Make sure you're sure you are on that system version in your phone. Like I said, phone, go on your phone, go to settings, go to about phone, look for the system version. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And here we go. There it is. You can see it, it says flashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And gives you a progress. Do not disturb. Or, or do not interrupt. So it's very important that we let this thing go through without touching the cable. If for some reason this thing disconnects, your computer shuts off, something tragic happens in the middle of the process, you basically will brick your device. Okay? It'll be a soft brick. You'll be able to go ahead and go back into bootloader mode like you're in right now and you'll be able to use a program like RSD Lite or maybe just fast, fast boot flash some firmware images and get your device back. But you'll lose all your data and so on. And actually in this process, I don't think you're gonna lose your data um, if it goes smoothly, but I'm not even sure about that. So we're gonna see what happens when it finishes, um, but just gotta be leery of it. Hopefully this will go smoothly. Like I said, we do need this system image that is pre-brooted. Um, I'll give you guys links to it too, so don't worry about that. We're just going to come back to it here as soon as it wraps up the flash, all right? Well, here we are. We're at 99%. Should be almost done. So let me just talk about this really quick. Okay, it did finish. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a reboot. So we're going to say, well, actually, we'll just do it on the, comp on the phone. We'll just go over here and click on the start. I hit power, and it should start up. While this is starting up. I just want to talk about a little bit about MoFo EXE file, which is basically a fast boot file. Um, nice animation there. I actually really like this animation. Basically, what this does is it allows you to flash system images. So, if anybody wants to go ahead and create these pre rooted system images, we can flash them with this. Uh, file. That's basically what this exploit is. It's just, just a way to flash that and to change anything in the system image to whatever you want. So I mean you could edit things like maybe take out Verizon applications and get them out and inject root and so on by using this and hopefully we can come up with some real cool exploits. Um, now this thing is still right protect. You see it booted up almost instantly and you can see that it has Sue binary needs to update. Now, that's probably gonna always say that because it's still write protect. You won't be able to get rid of that warning. Okay, so let me turn down the volume really quick. And let's go into our phone. And there is Super Sue. And I'll try it. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna fail because we're still write protect, but Let's go ahead and go into the App Store, and we're going to go to, um, if it'll connect, looks like it's downloading some stuff. Yep, we're going to go in here and go to Root Checker. Root Checker, there it is. And install Root Checker. And then we're going to verify root access. But I don't think, like I said, I don't think the Sue binaries will be able to update. It'll probably always be on your device. Just because, yeah, see it says failed. So just, just don't worry about it. So you won't really be able to get in here to manage, let's see. Okay, so you will be able to do it, but uh, just it just won't let you update. All right, so root checker installed. Let's go ahead and go to agree. I say okay, verify root access. Shabam! There you go. Ba boom, ba boom. Right there, Android 4.4.4 XT1254, which is the Motorola Droid Turbo on Verizon, has root access. That is it. Very, very simple. Easy to do. Um, that's all you gotta do on the computer. Definitely save all the files on the computer so you have them, and uh, you'll be able to, you know, get in there and flash more system images as development happens on this device. I'm sorry this was a super long video, but I wanted to really cover everything as best as I possibly could. 
Um, definitely, you know, I'll leave all links in the video description down below and hopefully be able to follow along and get root access on your Droid Turbo. Thanks so much guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned for more on this device. Like, I'll probably be doing a video now on restoring uh, official firmware with either Fastboot or um, RSD Lite, Motorola program for doing that. And that's what you'll need to do if you want to get back fully restored without root. So check out that video as well, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.